What is up guys, Kevin here, I'm back with a brand new Red Dead Redemption 2 video, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing the guys the best and most effective way currently to make money in Red Dead Online. So before we get into that guys, you know the deal, drop a like down the video if this is helpful, and let me know in the comments how much money do you guys currently have in online as it's been out for a while now. Other than that guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and uh, let's get right on to this. Alright guys, so in this video, I'm going to show you a few things. First off, I'm going to show you one of the best locations to earn money at. Then I'm going to show you a method you could use to increase that money that you earned. And then on top of that, I'll show you guys how to deal with the griefers at this spot if that's an issue. So, let's start with the first one. The location is right here in Blackwater. You're going to come to this spot right here. Now, make sure you have a fishing rod, of course, and you're going to need a lake lure. Now, the river lure does work as well, but I found that the lake lure works best. So, go and get it for a second now, boy. Let me show you guys how this is done and what we're looking for. Now, a quick tip for you guys. Once you equip your fishing rod, if you use the eagle eye, you'll be able to see all the fish in the water. Now, as you can see, we're going to be going for those big ones right there. So let me go ahead and cast this bad boy out. And we're just going to fish like normal, guys. Now, at this spot, you can catch some pretty big fish. You guys will see exactly what fish I'm talking about here in a second. But on top of this, after we get past this part, I'm going to show you guys a way you can increase the amount of money you earn from this and make it a lot, lot more efficient. So here we go. Come here, boy. I'm going to reel them on in for you guys. Now, quick tip while you're fishing. If you pump the rod, so let's say after he does this little fighting thing and you're reeling him in, flick down on your left analog stick, and as you'll see, it'll start pulling him closer to you, and it helps helps you fish faster. So here we go, guys. we got an 18-pound lake sturgeon. Now, this is exactly what we're fishing for. So let me go wrap this bad boy up. I'm going to catch one more just because I saw one in the water. And then I'll show you guys how you can do this a better way. So let me put him down on the ground. That's a three-star as well. And now let me catch one more, guys. And then after this, we'll get to the method as you can make this about ten times more efficient. So, boom. All right, guys. So here we are at the butchers. And as you see, we have two lake sturgeons here. And they go for $7.25 each. That's a lot of money, guys. That is $14.50 just like that. Now, of course, if you use this method, you only can get two at a time because you only can carry one. And you can put one on your horse. Let me sell these. Now, what we're going to do, guys, is I'm going to show you a method as where you can get many, pretty much as many fish as you want in one run. You can get way more than two, and uh, it's going to be a lot more efficient, guys. And depending on how much time you have, you can get up to 10 different fish. Now, the way to do this is by getting a cart. Now, you can either wait at the butcher shop here, and the carts will actually come by eventually. And it's a certain cart that we need so the fish don't fall out or bounce around because a lot of the carts, they just don't work. The back opens up. But there's one cart in particular. It's a kind of a small size, and it's like a bucket shape. So I'm going to go ahead and get that, guys, and I'll show you what I'm talking about with this method. And uh, after that, I'll show you guys something else you can even do. So let me go ahead and find that, and I'll see you guys in a second. All right, guys, so I got the cart that I was looking for. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. As you can see, it's kind of like a bucket. It's a real deep cart, unlike the other ones that are, like, long rectangles. This one's very short, small, but it's deep, so the stuff doesn't fall out of it. So this is what you want. Now, once you get this cart, you're going to want to bring it to right here on the map, all right, and back it up to these rocks so that you can dump the fish into it. Because, as you know, if you're holding stuff on your shoulder, you can't jump up onto objects to put stuff in there. So it's good to back this up into something that's higher than the cart. So you can just dump it in. Now, I got my good friends, Outlaw, Gary, and Taki to help with the fishing just to speed things up for the sake of time in this video. I know you guys you know, I know you guys are busy. And um, so we're going to get to fishing. I'm going to fill this thing on up with uh, fish. And obviously, you can you can fit as many fish in here as you want. You could probably fit up to 10, I would think. And uh, that's a lot of money if you fit 10 in here. So I'm going to get to fishing, and I'm going to show you guys how to actually load this thing because it's a little tricky sometimes if you've never done Oh. There goes one right there, boy. So let me get the fishing, and uh, we'll fill this bad boy up. All right, brothers. You already got one. That was quick. Dude, it's super quick. You get them, like, easy. Oh, a little master fisherman, huh? Yeah, he's on that taco fish. Yeah, taco. You'll be fishing for an hour, huh, bud? This guy's right next to us, taco. Make sure he doesn't shoot yeah, in taco, the face. Yeah, taco, you just keep guard, bud. He's actually right here. Looks like he's putting his fishing rod away. Uh, Taco? Oh, what a, what a good guard we got, Gart. Taco. My God, dude's useless. Useless. Oh, he's got a big gun out. Really? Yeah. He's, no, he he's, has a. Oh. <laughs> you scared oh, the crap gonna, out of me, Gart. He's gonna shoot me. Taco. He's gonna shoot me. What, what the heck did we buy Taco for? He's, he's just. Oh. I don't know. Taco just went AFK when this dude's about to blast. Yeah, right when the, right when the guys get here, Taco, you know, nowhere to be found. Really? Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, yeah. Hey, Taco, what were we doing, bud? 
Ah, uh, my controller died, dude. Your controller been, died. Uh, what does that have to do with you talking on too? Discord, bud? Yeah, so what I is that? I want to go get my charger, bud. That's why, dude. Is well, your charger Africa? plugged into your PS4? Well, it's a different PS4, but Oh, rich guy over yeah, here, multiple but... PS4s, Garrett. Yeah, yeah this guy's rolling Maybe. in the money. <laughs> Good cast, Garrett. Yeah. There I went into like. Yo, there's, there's a motorboat out there. Look. Right there. That's not, that's not a motorboat. Yeah, it is. Boat. That's a motorboat. No, it's not. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, that one's too big. That's a big one. Eh, you know a lot about big ones, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. I handle them on the daily. How good though they're snoozing, bro. His controller must have died again, preventing him from talking. Yeah, I think he's lying about that. Uh, I don't Michael think his controller's you. dead. Michael, what? you did, but yeah, bro, okay. this guy is stealing our fish, bro. Oh, oh, oh. Is he really? Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Uh, I caught one. Yeah, we better, guys, guys, is he really taking our fish? There's a really guy coming here. Oh, never mind, he's good. And he has a fish in his hand, dude. Okay. It's fine. No wonder there's no fish over here. This scumbag's taking it from our pond. All right, boys, I got a big one. Okay, yeah, I, give it to I have, us, dude. Yeah, I have reason to believe, Kevin, this guy's about to donate the fish. Come over here. Is he yeah, really? Same here. Yep. Yeah. Told you what I say. No Easy. way. He just donated the fish. fish. Dude. Do you know? I don't know. I guess so. Can I catch you in the head now? No, what the heck? Oh, he shot the fish, dude. What are you doing? Wait. Oh my god, what are you doing? Wait, what? Get the, no! Get, get the, get he no! took the car? Get on the horse. No! Oh my god, what are you doing? What are you guys doing? Oh my god, Garrett, please, buddy. Control, dude. God, this. so this guy shot his gun and, and the horse are going in the water. Is the horse in the water? Oh, no, good. But we're oh. good. We're good. This guy was trying to be nice, and next thing you know, Gareth over pick out the fish dude while the cart was going. <laughs> you guys scared me. You guys really I almost had oh, a heart grab, attack. Oh, grab the fish, throw it in the back. All right, go grab, grab yeah, the fish off this guy. Let it, me buddy. show you boys how to drop yeah. this in. Walk into the back of the cart, and uh, you just drop this bad boy once you find the spot that you can. There we go. One in taco sand, the one you just put down. Oh my god! Oh, my oh god. taco! Time, dude. Uh, boys, uh, money. Oh, here, here they come! Yo, here they come, dude. Go, I gotta help get the guys. cart. Get the cart. Should I get the cart out of here? Yeah, get the, get the cart, cart out of here. here. Dude, boys, you, defend me. Boys. I'll defend you. Are you kidding me? Well, hey, luckily the second tip I'm gonna give after this can uh, help so you don't have to deal with this stuff. Luckily, these yeah, guys are also far as hell away. So I'm fine, freaking dude. go sell right now. Wait, I think you left the fish. Yeah, I only see. Oh, I have three in here. I'm gonna just go. Somebody grab it. But as you guys can see, with this method, you can load as many as you want into there, and uh, you should be good to go. You can obviously do more than we did, but uh, yeah, we ran into a little problem during this. Dude, this is what we can do. This is what we can do. I'll I'll <laughs> run. Go, I'll run and go kill myself. Yeah. And then and then and then you go run and kill yourself. And then we'll be done. Yeah, and then we'll be done. Okay. Okay. So I should just, I'm going to throw dynamite at myself. There we go. But as you guys can see, do it as you did before. Sell them two at a time. One of them became poor because, well, we got attacked by those people. And one of them fell on the ground. So you guys know the deal with that. But luckily, this shouldn't happen to you guys when you do it. That's some bad luck and bad timing right there. So let's sell these. And you can sell them two at a time. Put one on your horse, one on your shoulder, and then go to sell it. And keep doing that over and over until you sold them all. And you should have a decent amount of money. You get seven, what was it, what is it, 725 per fish. So if you multiply that by 10, you're looking at some good, good money, guys. You can fill up a whole cart with these, do rounds and rounds, because there's a bunch of fish at this location right here, guys. That's the exact spot right there, guys. You want to fish, and you guys can get a ton. I've never ran out of fish in this spot. You can literally just keep going back and fishing and fishing and fishing, and it does not stop. So I hope this does work for you guys as well. Now, as you see, you might run into griefers as we did. Luckily, I had a crew with me, which is actually why I brought them along with me, because I knew there was a lot of people in Blackwater, and... I didn't have time to go get another cart and everything, but when you guys are doing this, obviously spawn into a different location. I usually spawn over here in Rhodes, and then I'll come to Blackwater, and you're good to go. You don't have to worry about griefers or anything. The place is usually empty. Another thing you guys can do is join a private lobby. Now, to do this, all you do is to go up to a stranger mission. For example, up here, I know this one works. You start the stranger mission, you complete it, and then you'll get put into a private lobby by yourself, and you can literally fish, do everything you want. 
without having to worry about other players messing with your stuff so those are some tips you can do to avoid these griefers you guys saw a prime example of them right now uh, you know got some pretty bad luck and got marked for uh, assassination so hopefully that doesn't happen to you guys but it should go smoothly let me get this fish i dropped over here in the midst of the battle all right let me sell this final one we got another perfect one boom so we sold four of them with that trip it literally took us only a few minutes to catch all of them not bad at all and uh like i said do as many as you want guys four is not the limit that's just what we did for time's sake in this video but other than that, I hope this was helpful, guys. I hope you try it out. Let me know in the comments how it works out for you if you run into any problems. Drop a like down the video if you enjoy it. And uh, I'll see you guys next time for a brand new video. Peace, dudes.